नमस्कार माय डियर फ्रेंड्स लेट्स टॉक अबाउट मॉस्फेट कैरेक्टरिस्टिक सिमुलेशन इन एल्टी स्पाइस सो वी हैव एन चैनल मॉस्फेट वी हैव पी चैनल मॉस्फेट्स एज एज यू नो लाइक आवर कैरेक्टरिस्टिक इज बेसिकली ड्रेन करंट दैट इज आई डी वर्सेज वी डी एस दैट इज ड्रेन टू सोर्स सो वॉट हैपन्स इज लेटस से दिस इज माई मॉसफेट आई विल जस्ट पुट इट एन चैनल ड्रेन सोर्स एंड गेट and this is the current that will be flowing which will be id that is drain current and the voltage at this node will be my vd2s which is going to be drain to source so this is what we are going to have the characteristics about p channel so as you can see p channel we have negative direction we have current increasing right towards negative direction for n channel we have current increasing towards positive direction so as my vds changes after a certain point of time this will get saturated so as you can see for around uh, uh, you know like uh, 5 volt or something it is getting saturated so this is what you can also understand what is your you know like cutoff uh, characteristics or what is your saturation region so this is my you know like a uh, cutoff region and this is my saturation region okay so this is what you will be able to find out no this is not cutoff region this is my active region and this is the cutoff region where it is around you know like zero current so id is zero <coughs> so as my vgs changes so as you can see at some threshold level it will start conducting id and that id will be getting saturated based on uh, higher and higher voltage of vds okay so that we will try to simulate quickly <coughs> so let's open lts spice what we can do is in lts spice quickly we will take a new circuit and what is our aim our aim is to draw this particular n mosfet channel circuit okay so n mosfet n channel mosfet what we will do we can have one uh, part which will be uh, you know like n mos so what we can do to get n mos we write in the search box n m o s okay so we will be getting n mos now what do we need is we need two voltage sources one will be for vgs so i will just press v to get a voltage source so that will be vgs and one will be vds that is drain to source voltage right then we need two resistors i can put resistors also gate resistors and you know like drain resistors so just press control r to rotate it and similar to that one more resistor at the drain place right then what do we need we need grounds so i'll just put one ground here one more ground here and one more ground here let's quickly wire them up so our circuit is ready so this is going to be my n channel mosfet characteristics so basically we will try to draw id versus vds okay that is drain current versus the drain to source voltage okay so it is not here i'll just move it move this ground here and then press the w to get the wirings so now my circuit is ready what we can do also is we can take a net name Uh, let us say v uh, ds okay <coughs> and we can place it here uh, let's say put one wire at this node so you have vds here so to make it little bit more you know like known form what we can do is we can name this uh, uh, v1 as vgs so that will be like uh, vgs voltage and name this net as let's say vds1 okay so vds1 is the source so vds1 is the source and vgs is the source quickly what we can do is let us say we can put uh, uh, vgs up to uh, let's say 10 volt we want to increase up to 10 volt or something and let's say we want to change it to up to 15 volt or 30 volt whatever whatever voltage that you want to give across the mosfet that you can give that's all so our mosfet circuit is ready now our aim is to let us say i'll just write a text box here so suppose you want to write some comments or some text box so what you can press is let's let's say press t so you'll get text box that is also called as comments okay and another way is this is the blue color t so that you can put it here and you can put it text so let's say mosfet mosfet characteristics understood so this is how my circuit is looking like if you want you can uh, right click it and change it to uh, let us say npn sorry n channel 
so this is my n channel mosfet characteristics if you want you can move it by pressing m so this is how you know you can get acquainted with each and every uh, s training sessions uh, with new new tips and tricks so that you can in uh, you know like uh, simulate your circuit properly now what is our aim our aim is to do the configure analysis for this particular system so go to this dot ac okay or you can press a to go to that analysis window understood so press a to get analysis window or otherwise you can directly click on this particular toolbar to get into this configure analysis our aim is to change the dc sweep of first source is let us say my vds1 okay so vds1 okay now what is the dc uh, sweep uh, what is the type of sweep so we will take up linear sweep and start value let us say we will start from 0 and let's go up to 15 volt in a step of let's say 0 0.1 volt i'll go and then let's say go to second source our aim is to change vgs so we'll just try down vgs this is my vgs voltage source okay let the type of switch be linear only a stop uh, start value we can start it from zero we can let us say go to 10 volt and let's say what is the step size that you want to change for vds so we can go ahead with let's say 2 volt so 2 volt step changes like vgs 0 vgs 2 vgs 4 like that okay <coughs> so this is my dc sweep analysis done now we are ready to uh, run this particular circuit what is the what else is missing we have the uh, missing values of resistances okay so what we can do is get resistor let us say we can put 100 ohm uh, let's say this drain resistor we can put some 10 ohm or something so that for right now we can we can see what is the current across this drain to source so this is my drain this is my source and this is my gate as all of you know that this is the n channel mosfet which is having four, three terminals one is gate source uh, source and drain now let's run this particular circuit what happens is i'll just keep it right side okay okay so what happens is if you are going to see the current across r2 that is nothing but going to the current across vds that is drain to source that's the main understanding so if you plot this you are going to get this is my vds that is this one okay not this one just remember this is plotted across vds1 okay so this is my vds1 reaching up to 15 volt and this is my id current which is going up to around 1 milli amperes something like that understood so since uh, the voltage across this particular uh, you know like uh, uh, vds is very very small that's the reason you get uh, very uh, less current or something anyway what is the change that we need to make we can go here you will see it uh, you know like uh, arrow and then right click it and change this vds1 to voltage of vds voltage of vds okay so this will be my vds if you want you can keep it uh, exact vds so that it will give you vds so as you can see for lower amount of vgs for, lo for lower vgs you can see for lower vgs 2 volt what will be happening uh, you will have uh, lower VDS right and as my VGS is increasing my VDS is also increasing so this is my active region before this this one all are active region and this is saturation region and the first one you can see for VGS equal to 0 that is the cutoff mode or something if you want you can have little more steps and to see quickly what are the VGS value for each one of the lines so what we can do is go to right click notes and annotation steps you know state steps and you can see different values of vgs like 0 2 4 6 8 10 so you can see for vgs value of 8 volt this is the purple color okay so all right guys uh, hope you have a very good understanding about mosfet characteristics uh, simulation in lts spice and what are the parameters that we need to look into let us quickly do one more thing uh, we'll just take the same circuit and change this N MOSFET channel to P MOSFET channel. So what we can do, we can press Ctrl C to copy this particular circuit. So just select this all and it is come out. Don't click anywhere. What we can do is, we can take a new window, Ctrl N and press this. So by placing this, you are going to have this particular circuit in this window. Now let's uh, change this command to N channel, uh, sorry P channel. 
and what is the change that we have to make is we have to make the changes in our DC sweep configuration this is uh, like configure analysis we have to make changes and we have to change this particular MOSFET so we can delete this MOSFET and change it to P channel MOSFET so just press P to get the component window and press P MOS to get a P MOS P MOS MOSFET okay now what is the change that we need to make here so in the configure analysis go to this configure analysis come to this DC sweep first source my VDS1 so VDS1 can be negative now right because we have P channel MOSFET so we can start from let us say minus 15 volt go up to 0 volt and in, in increment of let us say 0.1 volt that's all so this is my first source second source will be my VGS1 which can start from let us say minus 10 volt and uh, go up to 0 volt in a step of 2 volts so this is what we are going to have for P channel MOSFET okay if you want you can change this to let us say minus 10 volt and this one change it to minus 15 volt okay so this was all about this particular P channel MOSFET settings that we have done already and if you need any you know like different help you can always look into your uh, curriculum uh, tutorials or you know like your books to see how Mo P MOSFET works now if we run this particular circuit if we run this particular circuit what happens is oh we have not VG there is no VGS right so uh, what we can do is let's go to the configure analysis okay this one is VGS so but the source name has become VGS1 okay so that's the problem that we are facing now so we can put, a, pre, put it VGS1 okay similar to let's check what is about VDS the first source is VDS1 okay it, it is fine VDS1 only so that is not a problem so our, this was VGS1 that was that was the problem this was giving the uh, you know like wrong result now let's run this particular circuit so this is my P channel MOSFET and this is the uh, waveform window that is there with this one so you can see draft 26 draft 26 raw window which is going to be the response now what is going to happen I will press I will press this particular current across this R2 to get the uh, you know like uh, IDS current okay and as expected <coughs> my IDS current should be negative and for different VGS value as we go on more and more negative my IDS is also increasing increasing and getting saturated after uh, saturation threshold voltage of VGS okay however as you will see this particular axis x axis is actually nothing but VDS okay which is changing from 0 volt to minus 15 volt right so what we can do we can go here this arrow comes up then right click it and change this plotted value to our V of VDS right so we want this value like voltage across drain to source that's all this value we want to change uh, nothing else so V of VDS we want to change so as you can see it has started from 0 and it is ending up to 15 minus 15 volt and this is the particular MOSFET characteristics for P channel so hope you have now a very good understanding about N channel MOSFET characteristics for different values of VGS similar to that for P channel MOSFET characteristics for different values of VGS if you want to see what are the different values of VGS what you can do is go to this particular waveform window right click it go to this notes and annotation annotate steps and you can place this particular legends so these are the legends that is there which is VGS 1 is minus 10 volt so minus 10 volt is there and you are getting maximum IDS current okay Alright guys, hope you have understood the MOSFET characteristics and if you do have any queries or comments that you want to uh, have, you can put down your comments in the comment window and we shall be able to answer your uh, queries if there is any. Thank you so much.